Hello everybody, this is Aquatamia and we are back once again with The Sims 2 Mega Hood. I don't know why I had to think about that for a second. Um, this is round number 8, part number 60 at the Wan household, although we only have one Wan living here anymore and that's Dion because his mother Patricia married David Otamus and they are now the Otamus family. But we're, I think we're still going to call the house Juan. I think. Maybe. Mm, we'll see. Now, Mom is exhausted. She goes to work today at 10 a.m. And it's 4. And I hope she gets enough sleep before then. David is at half energy. He goes to work at 11. He does not have his creativity that he needs. And, um, yeah. Give you that. Okay. You have learned, uh, nothing yet. Nothing at all. Um... I could stick either of them in a energizer. We're not pregnant, right? Um, Mega Hood. I don't have it marked that we're. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, we've got to do something then. Because I have not, <clears throat> I have not rolled the randomizer. If we're going to have a baby, we're going to need uh, to uh, run Okay, sweets fix random sim generator. Okay, so mom's pregnant, just barely, but she's pregnant. She also is supposed to go to work. Uh, she will not have her first pop before she goes to work, I don't think. Um, and I haven't changed her last name on here. Should be Patricia Wan and then Autumnus. So I guess we should call this the Autumnus family. Autumnus 2. We'll call it Autumnus 2. How's that sound? We'll change it from this to Autumnus 2. Chill. Since most of the people living here are autonomous. Alright. Um, we've got a baby. We need to train said baby. Mom is exhausted. But we could stick her in an energizer. And I think we're going to do that. Come on Patricia. Let's get you up. And then you could spend some time with Dion. Dion needs somebody to spend some time with him. He needs to learn something. And if you don't remember, Dion is the son of Carlos Contender. Like, I'm like 95% sure, yeah. Carlos Contender. Okay. Do we have any bottles or anything for him? No. We've done nothing for this kid. We aged him up and that's the extent of that. 
So after you get out of the energizer, if you could make like two smart milks. Her lifetime want is the stupid media magnet, right? And his is music. So I need to get him up and do creative things with him. Because he doesn't go to work again. David? Oh, he's almost up anyway. You're just going to get you up a scotch bit early. You need to get some creativity done. Oh, later. Um, creativity. All right, Dion. We've lost Jason Greenman as a friend. Okay. Well, it's hard to find time to... Sweetie, come drink this bottle. I don't know why you're sitting next to a snapdragon. Oh, because they were in the room. You're never going to need to be potty trained if you are sleeping next to snapdragons. Ugh. Fine. Dion, drink this bottle. You can get to it, right? Mom had to go puke. If you'll come back in here. And let's see if we can teach him to talk in a nursery rhyme before he has to go to bed. Oh, that's very loud, David. I just want you to know. You're being very loud. Oh, I can't even hear myself think. Oh my god, I really can't hear myself think over that. Why is it so loud? Why is it so freaking loud? I don't think it's reading as loud in your ears as it is in my ears, but that... That guitar is loud. <sighs> All right. And I don't know. Mm. She's about to go to work. And David has carpool in an hour. tired is he? He's very tired and he needs to be put on the potty. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're not going to do that. We're going to put him on the potty real quick. Just put him on the potty real quick. Come on, Patricia. Quick, quick. And then once he's through, you can go to work. Okay, did you get your skill point? You did get your skill point. Okay. Okay, he's potty trained. Okay, good, good. So we had tried to potty train him. That's something, anyway. Then, to be honest, we could give him back his snapdragons if we wanted. 
Because I didn't think we had been potty trained him. You go to bed, babe. All right, David. Uh, you're about to have to go to work, so let's cool it with the guitar. There you go. That's a lovely place to leave it. Lovely. Okay, so that we'll have you. Do we not have a gardener? Well, apparently we don't have a gardener. Um, we don't have that much. But let's call a gardener. We got a little bit of money. Sure, we'll be fine. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Do we have a maid? We do have a maid. And now we have a gardener. Okay. And the baby is asleep and the nanny's playing the piano. Okay. Sounds like a good time. So we're just going to have to remember on him that we've got to go back and do his nursery rhyme. Oh, he's pulled the want for it. Patricia is roughly woken from a, dra a daydream at work with a startling prediction for her next horoscope. It appears that a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence of the stars is being predicted align perfectly aligned means that everyone should propose marriage today. Patricia doesn't begin writing because horoscope writing isn't an exact science, and if she's wrong, thousands of readers could propose before the right time. Should re uh, Patricia instruct her readers to propose, or should she make another horoscope and play it safe? Tell them to propose. Patricia wants romance to flourish, so she writes for everyone to propose to their loved ones, best friends, anyone that they can find. Though the mass... Though a mass love epidemic does not sweep through the town, a few stories of and comments make their way to the newspaper office, all of them fantastic. Patricia is heralded as the city's Cupid and now one of the city's prominent writers. Patricia earns a charisma skill point. Yeah, hopefully she's getting promoted. Okay, baby is awake. Baby is awake. All right, babe. What do you want to play with? The nanny? I hope that's one of your options because she's coming up to attack you. David is playing a concert with a longtime piano rival, Francesca Luches. Francesca wants to perform several duets on stage with David, and David sees this as an opportunity to get even. David can make subtle changes in his performance to offset the pace and mess up Francesca. Or he can play along as planned and let his rival leave the concert unscathed. He should play nice. David isn't about to be a crummy musician, so he plays the piece as it was meant to be played. The performance is flawless, and uh, Luseski and David begin really begin playing together. The audience is so in love with the duet that they demand an encore. Before long, the promoters from all over the country are asking for Luseski and David to perform their concert at their concert ha halls. Money soon begins passing hands and David isn't left out in the cold. David receives a cash bonus of 32,000 simoleons. Wow. We could definitely do home improvements if we wanted to. But I don't think we're there yet. Mm -hmm. 
but we technically could add a do an add-on over here technically and at some point we may have to Thank you, Sharon. Okay, baby is doing fine. Mom will be home at 3 p.m. So, anytime now. She should get a promotion and a baby bump. Oh, hey, Tara. Uh huh. She walked on and right back off. Okay. Alright, Patricia. We've been promoted to sports columnists. And we are on maternity leave. Okay. Let's see. You are a level 7... Sports columnist. Um, okay. Did I put? No, I did not put that on there. Well, hold on. Yeah, I did. It's it's good. It's all good. Okay. Your home. Your comfort is not the best, so we probably need to work on that. Um, do we want to lounge or do we want to take a bath? Why don't you come upstairs and take a bubble bath? What do you need to do for your next... Oh. You need creativity, you need charisma, you need cooking. Ay, ay, ay. You want creativity, so we could work on that. But we have to train your son, too. Your son needs to learn his stuff. number two. Alright, child, how tired are you? Why don't you come use the potty? Oh, you're hungry, but not that hungry. We'll get him to use the potty real quick, and then we'll work on his skills, as long as you're... No, oh, your energy is falling pretty damn fast. Um... Here, make another smart melt. Yeah, her energy is plummeting. Plummeting. Alright, David, I want you to drink this bottle. No, David, Dion. Dion, come drink this bottle. No, sweetie, drink the bottle. Your mom's going to teach you a nursery rhyme. And then she's probably going to go to bed. Let's be honest. 
Let's teach him a nursery rhyme. Because I do not think she's got it in her to teach him to walk. And the nanny came back because our schedule changed. Okay, it's settled down now. As I say that, it starts going down again. find out what baby name or what letter we're on um we're on s let's take a pause for a moment so i can find where my spot again Two, eight. All right. Okay, David has been promoted to a symphony conductor. That's nice. A symphony conductor. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And you should put some of that money. Where's the computer at? Is the computer down here? No, the computer's not down here. Computer's in here. More. Go on, check money, bank account. Oh, you've got 12 9 on your bank account already? I did not have that written down. Okay, well, let's put, we've got like, you got a 32,000 bonus. Bank on one, deposit. $20,000. That'd be 32,000. All right, Patricia, I want you to come on in here and get some sleep. You're not in any state to skill. And someone knocked over our trash bin. It's Nikki. Runner of marriages. Thank you. Thank you, David. Hi, Sharon. Well, we can greet Sharon. Um, you need charisma and creativity to get to the top of your career. Charisma and creativity, but you, and you have to work tomorrow. Um, what kind of shape are you in? Uh, not the best. What time is she gonna have this baby? She had the second pop. Nine, oh, she's gonna have it pretty soon. 
All right, let's just get you. We don't have a bathroom downstairs. Um, let's get you to go upstairs and use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone else went by, but can't be greeting everybody right now. You're hungry, too. Do you have any food in your pocket? No. Do you have any food? She does have some food in her pocket. Um, why don't you go get a slice of pie? Okay, Dion, are you in bed? Not yet? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to stop. Where's David? Oh, he's in here. Right. We could pop this. Mm. There's room in here. It's just... No. Don't go out there and dance. Um. Come... Talk to Dion. You can't, you don't know Dion very well. Come get to know Dion. Dion needs to go to bed, but let's see if we can get it so that you can teach him to walk, maybe. Oh, you have no relationship. Uh, talk to Dion. Snuggle Dion. Family kiss. Oh, I don't know how far you've got to get. Okay, now you can teach him to walk. Not that he's in any shape to learn to walk, but you've got enough of a relationship. Go ahead and put Dion in the crib. You're exhausted too, but you need to learn some things. Um, do we recharge or do we just... Uh, Alright. She slept longer than I thought she would. I thought she'd have the baby about nine. She hasn't had it yet. She wakes up. Oh, you waited till David was. In the 
You had it at 10. I was guessing 9. Just the original. Oh, it's a baby girl. Mm. Um. Let's name her Sylvia. I don't know why. It just popped into my head. Daughter. You are a toddler now. You're a baby. And you were born after, so it's going to be 9, 10, 11. You're going to age up around 11. Sylvia. David, are you here? Why don't you go ahead and play with Sylvia? Oh. So the Artemis family now stretches four deep. And these two are now grandparents. <laughs> and they're still having babies. And now they have a granddaughter, Sylvia. Oh, he rolled up the want to axe his career. Okay, so we're going to um, feed a bottle, bottle to Sylvia. Uh, cuddle Sylvia and put Sylvia in the crib. David? Oh. Are you networking, David? Okay. Uh, date. Uh, no. Uh, not with my wife who just had my baby standing right there. I think. I think no is in order. Um, all right, David, wear the thinking hat, practice the speech. got a lot of stuff to learn. Do we have another helmet? Hey, Herb Oldie. What are you doing walking around at almost midnight in this neck of the woods? I don't see another helmet. Okay. Okay, we'll get you started on creativity. about to get up and I need somebody to work with Dion. It's going to be fine though. We'll get it all. 
We'll get it all sorted. Okay, when you get up, use the potting. David, I want you to make a smart milk. do you have to do just creativity okay and you put it as far away from the baby as you could I want you just to hang out my dude he's gonna use the potty and then he's gonna drink the bottle and then I want you to teach him to walk okay I need you to do this for me. You're a stepfather now. You're you're a father and a stepfather and a father. And you've got to step to the plate sometimes. What is Herb doing here? Did Herb just welcome himself in? What is going on? Because we didn't greet Herb. Herb just walked on up in the joint. Dear me. No, you're not going to get in the middle of the Sharon Herb thing. As soon as he does that, I want you to teach him to walk. Okay, you've got that done. Then you can come over here and study cooking, which I don't know why you've got to study cooking, but you do. Oh, Jennifer. You want ten friends. Um... She got that done. Sorry, guys. I really have to finish teaching the baby to walk. Bye, everybody. And then you can come down here and practice your guitar. And you can play with your blocks if that's what you want to do. Excellent. 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 Excellent teamwork. He's learned all his skills. Yep, he's learned all his skills. Patricia's almost got her stuff done. David almost has his stuff done. And that'll be fabulous. Because he's level 9. She's level 7. So they're not too far away from being permanently platinum. And then we won't have to worry about getting to the top of careers or anything like that. They can just do what they want to do. Which is skill? I don't know. Make friends? I don't know. Cut that. That guitar is so damn loud. I turned the volume down for y'all. So your volume is like half of what my volume is. And it's busting my eardrums. Honest. God. Busting my eardrums. So we're going to end this part right here. Thank you so very much for watching my video. 
Goodbye for now.